Okay, so I got this trellis with Amazon and I was so excited whenever it came in because I think it actually came in like one week sooner than it was supposed to. So I'm so stoked. It's not too, too hot outside. It's pretty hot, but it's not like the Texas summer heat. So I put it, I'm putting it together just outside because I think it's going to be big. In my mind, this is a, a larger than life trellis. Um, I got a wood one because one, I love the look of just like raw and pretty and stained wood. Um, and also this is the same color as the fence that's outside. So I'm hoping that it blends in to some extent. Um, but I am so excited to watch vines grow up it. And to be honest, the hardest part was keeping the trash together from the wind. So that was hard. And I swear it took about as much time to get everything unpacked and laid out as it did to build this thing. It's a lot of pieces, but let's get started. Step one. I think that this was probably a two person job now that I'm like reliving it um, because it does require, you know, having multiple hands. Um, luckily, I'm pretty good with that, but this was a little bit challenging. Um, they give you this little screwdriver, but I would definitely recommend getting a drill because you have to screw it. There's a million different screws. Um, so I learned pretty quickly that mm, I'm going to need a drill with this guy. And then it went super, super fast. Like how satisfying is this video? Soup, 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 soup. And this is kind of where the two people come into to play where you just kind of have to to balance it out and if you need you know four hands you just kind of grow four hands to figure it out all right chloe what step are we on you keeping track we're not close to being done yet okay done with page one page two but really putting it together was very simple. Um, it's just really, really big. And so it's just, it's a lot of stuff to kind of keep straight and to keep at the right angle, stuff like that. Pretty easy. Oops, sometimes stuff falls, it's okay. And also, I don't know about y'all, but like I thoroughly enjoy putting stuff together with my hands. I work in IT, so like I work on a computer just the whole day. And so anytime I can like work with my hands, I don't know, I feel satisfied and proud. And sometimes you're just a short girl trying to get through life because this was kind of one of those instances where it was like, how did I get stuck in this weird little position? Because <laughs> I'm trying to move something that's like four times my size. <laughs> and sometimes I wish I was the neighbor so that I could just like watch this little girl try and, <laughs> try and lift these big things and just be like, is it gonna break? Is it gonna break? Pretty sure that's what I'm telling myself here. Like, don't break it. Don't break it. You've come so far. Now, the arches, I think I was the most stoked with because this was just gonna bring my whole vision to life about creating just like a curved, a doorway almost, like full of the vines or, you know, whatever plant I'm choosing to go up here. Um, that was really just gonna make my vision, my vision a reality. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed. And then I found out that my ground wasn't level, so I put down these little bricks. Here, I'll show you in a second. Okay, pro tip, if your ground isn't level like mine, use these little bricks, make it level. Is it perfect? Is it like exactly, you know, the right curvature on, the, on each side? No, it's not. And it doesn't matter because again, in my mind, this is all going to, to be just covered with greenery and plants and stuff that's gonna grow in the Texas summer. Don't just let me live that dream. Just let me live that dream. Will it grow? Who knows? I'm hoping so. I'm putting it out there in the universe. Here's a nice little time lapse. You can look at the clouds. How relaxing. So my first vision was to move the, the tomato plants over to the trellis and have them grow because all of the research that I had done said that tomato plants will grow on a, a trellis, the archways like these, 
Um, so that was my first plan. Um, then the tomato plants were getting a lot of sun, um, so I actually ended up moving them. And in a different video that's coming up, um, I'm gonna plant some peas, and those are gonna grow up there on the trellis. So I'm so excited, but this is what it looks like right now. Part three will be up with more flowers, and so that'll be exciting too.